Hi there, welcome to Tarot Reader Reads Journey's Future. Today we will be doing our usual three card reading, four card reading, and might be a question session at the end. So we'll start with our three card, the theme, okay, the permission, and the person. So where is Jenny at? Oh, this looks good. Um, the theme here is thoughts, reflection, so there might be change, but she hasn't made a decisive decision. So today, all the conclusions of what I'm saying, mm, take it with a grain of salt. She hasn't made a decision. So we look at what is possible and what is probable more in that, that direction than moving to um, conclusive actions or things that are happening. So the permission, this looks really nice. I would say everything she does is well thought out. So that's a nice, interesting and nice conclusion. So let's look at her year, 2022. We already start, start summer already. So we'll be looking at spring as the future. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. So we see that one card is judgment and the other card is two of swords and we see at the middle is symbolic of making tough decisions within the next three months so that is what we were expecting um, and if you look at temperance um, there's a lot of temptation here as well as um, I think a reverse flow so this two months wasn't the best mental wise or that this is what it was representing and this is all we are seeing here in the year is making a decision regretting it maybe working the decision again and then moving forward so we need to look at a three-year reading for that detail and then we'll ask so let's look at that so three one two Three. So 2022, three, four. Okay, so what do we have here? 2023, um, I would say that it is a false execution of what she intended to do. So she didn't get what she really wanted. However, 2024, this is a good year for her. 2025, I think what I think it is is she's going to do a fashion brand or something that takes her away from music for a little while and the representation is the two swords on the ground so passion uh, some of it is left out that's what I think has happened it's very far off so with the theme card remember the theme card um, it might not happen but there's a high probability of it happening if she walks within the current path what is going to happen next regarding her career um, side projects and then love life career side projects love life and one more card i'll do it at the side if well what is she focusing on so we can look at that Okay, so I don't remember. This card represents the career. So career is going good. Um, a bit more hiccups than what she would expect. This is the only card coming up in reverse. It looks healthy enough, but it is not as smooth as you would expect. That's what we're seeing. Solo projects, this is a mess. Um, the, this is the card for conflict so there's a lot of conflict working there and other areas of interest um love i think she's going to be quite decisive with that so this card and this card represents being more de decisive however i don't i'm not too sure if it represents new love so um, it looks a bit it looks a bit more decisive i don't think that anything is going to change soon that's just what the energy i'm picking up let's see do one extra card for detail um her love life i would say is stable 
might be a couple of hidden issues that we'll never see or know of because this is a very slow card and we also have another slow card working here so that's how we are looking at it so let's be more decisive is her relationship working well that's a very simple question a yes and no question so yes it's relatively well however you see the card is reversed so there's some things that need to work out it's not serious so that's a good card and what is the issue in the five card of uh, five of wands that is coming up so let's look at and see if we can see what is the solo project that is um, complicated okay choice stress so the I know so we have a tricky card which is the five of cups it comes with the sort of energy that is um, spill milk um, things you need to choose things that you regret and then you move forward to in a very uncomfortable situation and then you see freedom and control so that this looks progressively better it's just not happening in now so it will have gradually improve as time goes on so that is something uh, I think it is worth exploring but what the card says is it's an unlikely situation um, very challenging but she does um, be able to do it I am curious with the poke card coming up is management pushing for a complete solo album or maybe a um, small EP stuff here which is curious the cards are reverse but yeah that is what we are reading I will insert a Le Norman when I do select um, that I'm going to do a reading I usually check with a Le Norman first and I see a couple of cards coming up that so we are going to look in details as the lower portion of the Le Norman and what I'm interested in is the position of the woman. So this represents Jenny. To her right is a house and a child. Usually, traditionally, this means that it is committed to the family. So this would mean a relationship or it could also be something new that is coming into her life. I think all the cards currently point and we see at the back of her is a key and a heart so the things that are influencing her now is the relationship and this relationship is very good in terms of motivating um, making her who she needs to be and this is represented with the tree on top of her a couple of tricky tricky cards below we see that the career is at a point where things are changing and what we are seeing is the man in her life is influencing it so the outcome of her career is going to take it into an undirect uh, expected position and i think that is where the five of wands we saw in our tarot reading work into this equation overall i know in the short term we see a lot of nice things happening there's the rider with bouquets and the keys and um, all the nice things are happening but in the midterm so things that are happening in the six months mark to a year it doesn't look like it's the best timing um, a lot of choices might have been not the best choice it could have been a better choice if she were to take the time to explore but overall it does look good and because the relationship is very committed we see it in the position of the heart cards and in the woman card jenny herself and her partner we also see that this male um, in her life um, 
behind him is a ship. So he brings a lot of wealth and abilities and a lot of support for her as well. Now, the interesting thing is they are not at the same plane. So the four cards in between them tell the story of their relationship. So overall, it's quite good. The male, the man in her, her life, um, he hasn't been the best, but he is from here on committed and things are going to go into a very improved direction. And that is our reading. Thank you for watching and goodbye.